what was the social dynamic otherwise? I believe at that point it would have been an integrated school, or right. was it integrated? It was, it was an integrated school. Okay. Uh, everyone got along. Okay. Uh, we played together. Um, I remember my friends. Um, it's a little story about two white girls came up and asked me, I, I never forget this, uh, which one do I like? And apparently I picked the wrong one. Uh -oh. And the other one stomped my foot and broke that toe. And I went years with that broke toe. But that was the only incident that happened that caused any type of friction. Mm -hmm. That was nothing, you know. Yeah. But we that was kids being kids. Right, yeah. Yeah. right, right. And we had a good time. Miss Keene was the principal. She was a Caucasian lady. She was the principal of Belvoir Elementary School. I graduated in 1963. 1963. Okay, and a day at that school was you went to your classes. It was like the hall would fill up with kids and we go to our different classes, get in our classes, and then uh, we had, a, the, I think, the, the best part of, um, of Topeka High School for me was uh, I, I played basketball there, and I loved handball. And I, me and a, a white young man, we played handball together every day. We went up and instead of going down uh, playing dodgeball or something like that, they would let us go up and we'd go up in handball courts and play handball. Okay, one, I didn't know there were handball courts there. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, yes. On what floor? Where? Okay, you know, they, they call the, the, the gymnasium, they call it the dungeon. Right. Well, if you go up to the top steps up in the, in the gymnasium, it's it was two or one or two handball courts up at the top of that, mm -hmm. and that's where we went. So this is, you know, again, like within the past 10 years after the decision has been handed down. Um, from what I've gathered from other people, it was still a little unsettled in terms of this school. Right. Um, can, did you feel that as a student there? I didn't feel that. Okay because um, the people that I was around, uh, the friends that I have had, were, they were really close-knitted. Mm -hmm. um, we, I spent my summers uh, with my cousin over North Topeka, and we played up and down the riverbank. During school time, I, I spent my time with, with certain friends that I had, and uh, we run around, it was a place called Ripley Park. And Ripley Park was located, I guess it's one of those pockets. Mm -hmm. You know, it was on the edge, in the, on the edge of Mudtown. And that's where most of the blacks went, right there. Mm -hmm. Then there was a YMCA on Kansas Avenue in the 200, about the 100 block, I think it was. It, that was all black, right. YMCA. So we went there. That was our fun time. Mm -hmm. That was where we went. Uh, the I never did get involved in too much of it at my age, but my I had a, a older sister and brother that they did, and they was affiliated with the Fourth Street. I heard you say about Fourth Street, and they were a, affiliated with the YW, YMCA, the Black YMCA. And during that particular time, back in 1957, somewhere in there, or 58, uh, Will Chamberlain would come down and, you know, be here at the dances that they had and so forth.